The Democratic Republic of Congo is one of the world's poorest countries. It is a landlocked country in Central Africa, with a population of over 80 million people, many of whom live below the poverty line. But did you know that the Congo is sitting on $24 trillion worth of natural resources? Congo's abundance of natural resources is undoubtedly a blessing in terms of its potential for economic growth and development. The country is rich in a wide range of minerals, including diamonds, gold, copper, cobalt, and coltan. These resources are essential components in various industries, such as technology, manufacturing, and jewelry. The sheer scale of Congo's mineral wealth places it among the wealthiest nations on the planet in terms of natural resources. The presence of such valuable resources offers Congo an opportunity to leverage its wealth for the benefit of its people. The extraction and export of minerals have the potential to generate significant revenue, stimulate economic activity, and create jobs. Additionally, the export of these resources can contribute to foreign exchange earnings and attract foreign investment, thereby fostering economic growth and diversification. Congo's mineral resources, particularly cobalt and coltan, are in high demand globally due to their critical role in the production of electronics, including smartphones, laptops, and electric vehicle batteries. As the world becomes increasingly reliant on these technologies, the demand for these minerals is expected to rise. Congo, as one of the largest suppliers of cobalt and coltan, has a unique opportunity to capitalize on this demand and transform its economy. However, the abundance of natural resources has not translated into sustainable economic prosperity for the Congolese people. Instead, it has presented significant challenges and risks, leading to the paradoxical phenomenon known as the resource curse. The resource curse refers to the tendency of resource-rich countries to experience poor development outcomes, corruption, and conflicts. One of the main challenges associated with resource abundance is the mismanagement and unequal distribution of wealth. Often, the benefits of resource extraction are captured by a small elite, leaving the majority of the population in poverty. The concentration of wealth and power in the hands of a few can exacerbate social inequalities, fuel political instability, and create grievances among marginalized communities. Moreover, the exploitation of natural resources can lead to environmental degradation and social disruptions. Improper mining practices, such as unregulated and unsustainable extraction methods, can result in deforestation, pollution of water sources, and the destruction of ecosystems. These environmental consequences have adverse effects on local communities who depend on natural resources for their livelihoods, exacerbating poverty and food insecurity. Additionally, the exploitation of natural resources in Congo has often been associated with corruption, illicit trade, and the presence of armed groups. The mining sector has been plagued by issues of transparency, accountability, and governance. The lack of effective regulations and oversight has allowed for the illicit trade of minerals, with profits often fueling conflicts and financing armed groups. This further perpetuates political instability and undermines development efforts. To mitigate the potential negative impacts of resource abundance, Congo must address these challenges and establish effective policies and frameworks for resource management. This includes promoting transparency and accountability in the mining sector, ensuring equitable distribution of benefits, protecting the rights of local communities, and implementing sustainable and responsible mining practices. Furthermore, international cooperation and responsible business practices are crucial in supporting Congo's efforts to harness its natural resources for sustainable development. Foreign companies and investors should adhere to ethical standards, ensuring fair trade and environmentally responsible practices. The international community can provide technical assistance, capacity building, and support to strengthen Congo's governance structures and institutions. Historical exploitation has left a lasting impact on the Democratic Republic of Congo (DRC), contributing to its status as one of the world's poorest countries. Under Belgian colonial rule, the Congolese people endured brutal forced labor and the extraction of their country's resources for the benefit of the colonial powers. This legacy of exploitation continues to hinder Congo's development and perpetuate poverty. The Belgian administration exploited Congo's resources through coercive labor systems and violent repression. This resulted in immense suffering and disrupted traditional societies. Independence did not easily overcome the effects, as the lack of infrastructure and investment hindered progress. The cycle of poverty and dependency was perpetuated by reliance on raw material exports, making the economy vulnerable to global commodity price fluctuations. 
social and political divisions were fueled by the marginalization of local communities, exacerbating conflicts and hindering stability. To overcome this legacy, Congo must invest in infrastructure, education, and healthcare while promoting inclusive governance and equitable resource distribution. By addressing these issues, Congo can break free from the chains of exploitation and build a more equitable and prosperous society. Weak governance and rampant corruption have been major impediments to the development and prosperity of the Democratic Republic of Congo DRC. These issues have plagued the country for years, undermining efforts to effectively manage its resources and promote sustainable development. Weak governance structures in Congo have been characterized by inadequate regulation, ineffective law enforcement, and a lack of transparency and accountability. These deficiencies have allowed corruption to flourish, with public officials and powerful elites exploiting their positions for personal gain. The absence of strong institutions and rule of law has eroded trust in the government and hindered the country's ability to attract domestic and foreign investment. Corruption in Congo has permeated various sectors, including the mining industry, which is crucial for the country's economic growth. Transparency International's Corruption Perceptions Index consistently ranks Congo among the most corrupt countries in the world. Mismanagement, embezzlement, and bribery have plagued the mining sector, leading to illicit trade, revenue leakage, and the diversion of resources away from public welfare. The consequences of weak governance and corruption are far-reaching. They undermine public trust in institutions, perpetuate social and economic inequalities, and impede sustainable development. Limited public resources that could be allocated to education, healthcare, and infrastructure development are diverted into the pockets of corrupt officials, further exacerbating poverty and depriving citizens of essential services. Addressing weak governance and corruption requires comprehensive measures and a multifaceted approach. Strengthening institutions and promoting good governance practices are crucial. This includes reforming legal frameworks, enhancing transparency and accountability mechanisms, and improving the capacity and independence of the judiciary. Effective oversight and regulatory bodies must be established to prevent corruption and ensure the responsible management of resources. Additionally, efforts to fight corruption should focus on creating a culture of transparency and ethics. This involves promoting anti-corruption education, encouraging whistleblowing, and enforcing strict penalties for corrupt practices. Collaboration with international organizations and development partners can provide technical assistance, expertise, and support in implementing anti-corruption measures. Moreover, international actors, including multinational corporations, have a role to play in combating corruption in Congo. Responsible business practices, such as adhering to ethical standards, promoting transparency, and conducting due diligence, can help create a more accountable and sustainable business environment. Encouraging responsible investment and supporting initiatives that promote transparency and accountability can contribute to improving governance and reducing corruption risks. The lack of adequate infrastructure and investment has been a significant barrier to economic growth and development in the Democratic Republic of Congo DRC. Insufficient infrastructure and a dearth of investment have hindered the country's ability to effectively harness its natural resources and diversify its economy. Infrastructure, including transportation networks, power supply, and healthcare facilities, is the backbone of any thriving economy. However, Congo's infrastructure is severely underdeveloped and inadequate. Road networks are often in disrepair, making transportation of goods and people challenging. Limited access to electricity hampers industrial development and stifles entrepreneurship. Insufficient healthcare infrastructure exacerbates health challenges, leading to higher mortality rates and reduced productivity. The lack of infrastructure not only impedes domestic economic activity but also hinders international trade. Inadequate transportation networks and logistics infrastructure increase transaction costs and limit market access, making it difficult for Congolese businesses to compete globally. The country's landlocked position further compounds these challenges, as it relies heavily on neighboring countries for trade routes. Furthermore, the lack of investment, both domestic and foreign, has hindered the development of Congo's industries and limited economic diversification. Investors often perceive the country as high-risk due to political instability, corruption, and weak governance. This perception discourages much-needed investment in sectors such as manufacturing, agriculture, and technology, which could drive economic growth and create employment opportunities. Addressing the infrastructure deficit requires significant investments in sectors such as transportation, energy, and telecommunications. Developing and maintaining a reliable road network, improving access to electricity, 
and enhancing digital connectivity are essential for unlocking economic potential and attracting investment. These infrastructure improvements will facilitate the movement of goods and people, foster industrial development, and promote domestic and international trade. To attract investment, Congo must also address concerns related to political stability, corruption, and governance. Strengthening institutions, promoting transparency, and enforcing the rule of law are crucial for instilling confidence in investors. Engaging with international financial institutions and development partners can provide financial support, technical expertise, and assistance in implementing infrastructure projects. Encouraging public-private partnerships PPPs, can also play a vital role in bridging the infrastructure gap. By partnering with private companies, the government can leverage their expertise and resources to accelerate infrastructure development. PPPs can help mobilize private sector investment while ensuring accountability and long-term sustainability. In conclusion, the Democratic Republic of Congo's journey toward prosperity and development is fraught with challenges stemming from historical exploitation, weak governance, corruption, and a lack of infrastructure and investment. Despite being blessed with abundant natural resources, the country has struggled to translate its wealth into tangible benefits for its people. To overcome these obstacles, Congo must undertake comprehensive reforms and implement effective policies. This includes addressing the historical legacy of exploitation through equitable resource management and promoting transparency and accountability. Strengthening governance structures, combating corruption, and fostering a culture of integrity are vital for sustainable development. Investments in infrastructure development, including transportation, energy, and healthcare, are crucial to facilitate economic growth and improve the quality of life for the Congolese people. By enhancing connectivity and attracting domestic and foreign investment, Congo can diversify its economy and reduce its reliance on the extraction of raw materials. Furthermore, international cooperation and responsible business practices are integral to supporting Congo's development efforts. The involvement of development partners, technical assistance, and the promotion of ethical trade practices can contribute to building a more inclusive and sustainable future for the country. While the path ahead may be challenging, with concerted efforts and a commitment to change, the Democratic Republic of Congo can transform its vast resources into a catalyst for lasting development, poverty alleviation, and improved well-being for its people.